Welcome to Cheltenham Racecourse and the jpfestival.com preview of the Arthur Chase. I'm JP and with me are Catherine Fry and Ben, a ben Aiken of Marrying the Field. Catherine, uh, I'm a huge Peddlers Cross fan and I believe you're uh, in the same, uh, the same camp. How strong are you on his chances in the Arthur? Very, very, very strong, Jonathan. For a start, he absolutely loves it around here. Uh, winner of the Neptune in 2010. <laughs> the only horse to actually serve it up to Hurricane Fly in last year's champion hurdle. He was so brave in defeat there, absolutely ran his heart out. I think you can forget the Aintree run after that. He was absolutely wrecked from his exertions in the champion hurdle. A lot has been made of his defeat by Sprinter Sacra at Kempton. There is no denying that what we're looking at in Sprinter Sacra is, could be a monster, okay? But it's horses for courses, and I honestly don't think that, Sprinter, that Cheltenham is Sprinter Sacra's course. Um, to me, in last year's Supreme Novices, when he hit the rising ground, he just, he didn't really like it. Um, I think his class took him into third place that day. Uh, Peddlers, with or without the muscle problem, at Kempton, two miles run there was never ever going to be his, his bag really. So, I, I mean, I really wasn't that disheartened to, to see him beaten that day. Um, you also need to look at, in the arc, who was the top rated hurdler. Peddlers Cross is a miles clear on 170. So it, it's Peddlers Cross all the way for me. I can also see Q Card running very, very well in this. Thank you. Sprinter Sacre is a really hot favourite in this, and there's plenty of uh, pundits out there who just think he has to um, turn up, mm -hmm. jump round to um, to win. How do you rate his chances? Um, I like Sprinter Sacre. He's every right to be favourite. What he's done in Kent, uh, not Kent last time, but Kent at Christmas time in Newbury last time, like Brighton track record. Every right to be favourite. Peddlers I like, uh, I'll probably like to go on record now and say I think he's going to win the Gold Cup next season. I, he, I, he put, I think he'll run well in the Oracle, but I, can't, I don't think Peddlers will win. Um, the front two, there's a lot of emphasis being on them. Alfrov seems to have been overlooked somehow. I'm not sure how it's happened, but he seems to be slipping from people's minds. I've got to remember, he's first, uh, first at last year's festival, second the festival year before. He's won round the Channel Fences. His, uh, I think his chase form stacks up incredibly well. What he done last time out at Ascot and the Victor Chandler chase, in my opinion, is the best piece of Arco chase form on show. He will have learned so much that day, jumping against, out with the novice ranks. Um, it will be set up just primed for this race, in my opinion. He'll jump around there, he'll come up the hill strongly. Ruby knows him, I think he's a prime candidate. I think it, Alfarov has the tools to take down Sprinter Sacra quite easily. Of the rest of the pack, there's one further down the list, way down the list that I quite like, and it's Sir Deschamps, Willie Mullins. Won at the festival last year. Only what he is, it's probably the third likely of his targets this year. Um, if he was going to turn up though, I would be very, very interested in him. He takes, he takes every box for me for this race. We just need to convince Willie Mullins to let him have his chance. Um, so if he turns on today, I think he'll be in the shake-up. Thanks, Ben. To keep up with the latest Cheltenham Festival news, please visit our website at jpfestival.com, download our phone app or follow us on Twitter. Thank you and good luck at the festival.